the Anderson family. I, I tell you, Oliver, you got to do something to get rid of this brother-in-law of mine. Oh, boy, he eats like a horse. He looks like one, too. Yeah, now, I don't yeah. see where it's any affair of yours, Oliver. Oh, I don't know. Homer helped me get rid of Uncle Oscar, didn't he? Yep, and you yep. don't like the brother-in-law. No. He seems like a nice fellow, Pop. Well, you stay out of this, Junior. Don't you speak to Junior that way. Well, Uh-oh, he's... here we go again, folks. <laughs> Now, let's visit the Anderson family. Well, this whole thing started when Homer Meister, the next-door neighbor of the Andersons, asked Oliver to help him get rid of his brother-in-law. The brother-in-law moved in bag and baggage, and poor Homer's been pushed around by everyone. Mary and Oliver are listening to Homer's tale of woe. Mary, I, I tell you, I'm a broken man. Rockwell has to go. Oh, come now, Homer. He'll only be here for a short visit. Nope, nope. That's what I thought at first but he brung a toothbrush and pajamas. That means he's holding up for the season. Yeah. Well, now, why don't you just tell him he's not wanted? Oh, Oliver, he couldn't do that. Well, uh, yep, yep, Mary's right. It's what I'd like to do, but Marthy's got such a strong personality. Well, I'd like to see yeah. some stooge hang around here if I didn't want him to. Hey, hey, gum, that's just how I feel. Mm. Why, when we went to the train to meet him, Marthy put on her new outfit. Spent a whole hour on her hairdo. Oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> Homer Meister being jealous of Martha's own brother. Oh, take <laughs> that, Mary. But when we ate this morning, we had side meat and eggs, something we never have, and, oh, boy, I made a mistake. Hmm? Mistake? Yep, yep. I, I, I tried to be polite-like, and I, I made the mistake. I, I pushed the platter over to him and said, help yourself, Rockwell. And he? Yep, he did. With one swipe of his knife, he took every egg and both pieces bacon. Yep. Took the whole works. Oh, that's hardly fair, Homer. Where are his manners? Mary, he just ain't got any. Oh. He's just like her side of the family. Yeah. You know, Homer, if he stays on, you're going to have to go to work to get out of the house. Well, I'm not going to upset my home life for him, I tell you that. Well, why don't you have a good talk with Martha? <laughs> I'm sure if she knew how you felt, Homer, why she'd do something. You ain't kidding. Yeah, if he's one of them fellas and knows it all. Well, then just get him a job, he... something to do. Yeah. Well, oh, maybe you could help him, Oliver. Oh, now, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, maybe Mr. Thompson could find him something to do. Hold on, wait a minute now. I should lose my job just to get him work. Well, I don't see why you would lose your job. Well... Mr. Thompson could give him something to do in the shipping department. You said he always put the lowest in aptitude down there. Oliver, if you could get him a job, I'd do anything for you. Well, I'd have to lie to get him in. Yeah. Oh, see who it is, Oliver. Oh, probably someone for Junior. Oh, oh, it's Martha. Oliver, I want you to meet my brother, Rockwell. Uh, oh, fine. Come on in. Go on in, Rockwell. He's all right. I know, Mr. Anderson. You've got to be careful who you talk to, you know. Oh, Martha can vouch for us. Come on in. Oh, hello, Martha. Uh, sit down a minute. Just wanted to introduce Rockwell around. He's uh, my brother, you know. My older brother. Well, how do you do, Rockwell? Oh, well, g gosh almighty. If I'd have known I was going to meet a pretty gal, I'd have dressed up a bit. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> silly, putting on shoes just for that. <laughs> Oh, as you say, uh, that other feller there, have I met him? Oh, you know darn well who I be. Now, Isn't Homer, don't go raising your voice to Rockwell. Well. Oh, sure, sure, now yeah. I remember. Uh, I know that I heard that name before. Uh, I suppose you're tired out from your trip, Rockwell. Oh, yep, yep, I got picked up in Riley Springs. They, they taken me in there. Oh, the zoo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 me, doggone, that was a good one. Oh, oh, oh. You can at least show some manners. Oh, he just needs his, his ears slapped back. He Why, does. you're for oh, two minutes. Uh, 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 how long are you going to stay, Rockwell? Oh, well, he'll eat all the cardinals. Well, open. that's fine. Want to work here? Oh, uh, I might look around a bit. Mm -hmm. Rockwell's good at most everything. Mm. That's why I come over. Thought maybe Mr. Anderson could get him on down to the store. You uh, say you uh, got any horses there? No horses, no. Uh, any cows? Nope, no cows. <laughs> oh, it'd be pretty lonesome for me, then. Mm. Oh, you'd get used to people in no time, Rockwell. Well, they might get used to you, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't do any harm, Oliver, to inquire anyhow. Oh, I'll do it. Probably use him in the shipping department. Oh, Oliver, that's simply wonderful. Well, come on, Rockwell. Let's go on down to the store. Yeah, well, I'll be getting along, too, Oliver. Oh, you can stay if you want, Homer. Yeah? Rockwell mm. and I have got so much to talk about. Uh, how long since you've seen Rockwell, Martha? Well, let me see. 
see. Uh, we come out here in 19... Oh, my uh, goodness, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm, and I ain't hardly had a minute to talk about the folks back home. Well, yeah. if you want Rockwell to go to work, he'd better spend some time filling out an aptitude test for the company. Oh, no, not me. I ain't sticking no needle in my own thing. Needle? Yeah. Uh, you see, Mary, this is going to be going to take a lot longer than I thought. Now, let me be alone with this prospect. Uh, you want me to get out? Uh, well, yeah, everyone. You can see how confused he is right now. And that's right. Nice of you, Oliver. Come on, Homer. Don't do nothing to hurt Rockwell's chances. Nothing Ooh. Homer does will hurt him anymore. Oh, that's <laughs> so nice. Come on now, Homer. Well, uh, uh, I hope the test comes out all right, Oliver. Well, maybe if I help him, he can get in the shipping department. I don't yeah. know. You're going to take him down with you, Oliver? Yeah, I'm going down in an hour or so. Now, do try hard, Rockwell. Oliver's so kind. No, uh, I ain't taking no needle. Uh, maybe oh. we're confusing, Rockwell. Yeah, mm. you're right, Mary. Him being strange to all us and everything. And I want you to move your stuff out of your room, Homer, when we get home. Rockwell can't sleep in that garage. Uh, I can't either, and I ain't going to. Dead we'll never see. Come on. Thanks again, Oliver. Don't mention it. Oh, I ain't taking no needle. Uh, look, Rockwell, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to get you in our shipping department. Really? Now, you have to start from there. When you get advanced to a moron, they'll give you another job. Uh, is it hard to get to be a moron? Huh? <laughs> well, not for you. Now, now, let's see. Well, I have one of those tests in the desk, Oliver. Oh, swell. Get it, will you? Mm -hmm. Are you busy, Pop? Not too busy. What is it? Which chaplain wants you to take a chance on a turkey raffle? It's a benefit, he says. Hmm, probably a benefit for the chaplain family. Uh, now, look, don't talk anymore. I have to help Rockwell with a test. Oh, you're Mr. Meister's brother. Uh, yep, quiet yep. now, quiet. Let Rockwell concentrate. Oh, here, Oliver. Aptitude test, junior grade. Yeah, that's the low one. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. What was your maiden name? Uh, well, the... Uh, I uh, mean before I was married the uh, first time or the uh, second time. Oh, that's for women, Pop. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, now, if you can't be quiet, Junior, you'll have to leave the room. Okay, Pop. Uh, second question. What is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter of a circle? Uh, first time I was married or the second? Oh. This has nothing to do with that. Oh, now, David. we don't have to answer the first one. Uh, see, circumference is five. No, no, si uh, six times. Uh, let's see. Uh, the circumference is three and fourteen, sixteen, ten thousandths times the diameter, or pi, Pop. Read it in the book. Stop reading! All right, now I ask you to be quiet. Uh, I ain't taking no needle. Yeah, no I know way. that, I know uh, that. I'm trying to help you. Uh, now, question three. What color is Paris green? Dude. Uh, that's foreign, ain't it? No, I don't know nothing foreign. Well, just guess. Think hard now. Come on, pull yourself uh, together. Let's see. Uh, no, uh, yellow. No. Uh, oh, white. Now, look. Uh, Paris green is green. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I was thinking of blue bits all I <laughs> Leave the room, Junior. Now. Go on. Go on. I'm having enough trouble. No, I'll be quiet, Pop. Honest. I just want to hear the question. All right, but be quiet. This is a tough thing. Now we'll take the next set of questions. All right, we've answered all the questions. Now, just sign right here. I, 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 no, no, I ain't taking no needle. There I... isn't any needle. Just sign right here and go downtown with me to see the boss. No, I ain't signing nothing till I read it. Oh. But, uh, you see, uh, I don't read so good, so I'll sign it. You won't need me anymore, Pop? No, and thanks for your help. Rockwell will remember you. You're welcome, Pop. And now, let's get down to the office so you can start work tomorrow. Uh, I'll go over and get my jeans on. All right, that's... Uh, hurry up now. Gee, Pop, he doesn't know anything, does he? Oh, well, where he's going to work, they're just pound nails. And a big husky man like him doesn't have to think. They have a place for guys like him down in the shipping department. Okay, Pop. Uh, good luck. Yeah. Hey, I didn't like the way you said that, son. <laughs> and Torrance. Good afternoon. Oh, yes, Mrs. Anderson. I'll tell him. Thank you. <sighs> Tops Thompson and Torrance. Oh, oh, yes, Mr. Trainer. Well, Mr. Thompson is tied up, but I know he wants the money. So why don't you bring it on over? Mr. Anderson will be out in a minute, sir. No, I ain't taking no needle. I didn't get you. Uh, well, everything's fixed up, Rockwell. The boss is going over your aptitude test and... Uh, is he a relative of yours, Mr. Anderson? 
No, he's not a relative of mine, and if he were, it's no business of yours. But, Gabe, don't snap my head off. Well, this ain't the only place to work, you know. I don't have to take that off from the help around here well, at all just now. just watch the he... switchboard. That's all you have to do. Well, I don't know why you should be ashamed of him. I'm not. He's just a brother-in-law of a neighbor's. You don't have to apologize. Gee, I'm, I'm just I'm not apologizing about... for anything or anybody. Rockwell is joining our organization. He'll more than likely start down in the shipping room. Why do you tell me this? I'm not interested in him. Well, I don't know myself. Forget it. Oh, you're sure going to be a noisy place to work in. Not where you're going. All you'll hear down there is pounding and sawing. Nice and quiet. Oh, it's Mr. Thompson's line. Yes, Mr. Thompson? Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Thank you. Mr. Thompson says he'll see you now, Mr. Anderson. Also, your protege... Uh, protege. Well, thank you. That's probably the first thing you've done right today. And look, Rockwell. Oh, uh, yeah. Just uh, don't open your mouth in there, and we may be able to slip this over on you. Okay, but I ain't taking no needle. Oh, come uh, on. Well, well, come in. Welcome to our organization, Rockwell, my boy. Pull up a chair there. Well, uh, don't mind if I do. My dogs are killing me. <laughs> you see, he's also just full of humor. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Uh, we need more humor in our everyday dealings with our customers. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, tell me, Rockwell. Have you done much selling? Uh, selling, uh, well, I sold off two carloads of heifers uh, for a lift in Nebraska. Fine, fine. Um, he's husky, too, boss. Make us a good man. Uh, yeah, yes, now that I see him. Well, I read your aptitude test, Rockwell, and we can certainly use a man like you in our organization. Uh, that's right nice of you. Yeah. Uh, how did he do on the test? Uh, excellent. In huh? fact, it's one of the best thought-out tests it's been my pleasure to correct. Uh, he has a quick mind. You know, that's where he fooled me. Uh, to look at you, Rockwell, I don't suspect a thing. But from your test, I know you're a good listener. That's important. When the time is right, you step in and close them and make the sale. Oh, I'm a good thinker, I am. Uh, yeah. Boss, there won't be a lot of selling uh, to be done down there in the shipping department, will there? You're quite right, but... Good heavens, I couldn't put a man with his thinking in the shipping department, Anderson. Huh? You couldn't? Why, of course not. Oh. That's why I have this test. Appearances are sometimes deceitful, but this test has never failed. Why, do you realize that this man rated an even 90? Is that above a moron? <laughs> Considerably, <laughs> Anderson. When you figure you got 62 on the test. Uh, oh, well, 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 yeah, yes, but, you know, I was tired. Yes, day, you're uh, always tired, Anderson. Well, I... But I'm sure we'll work this thing out to everyone's satisfaction, including me. Well, you see there, Rocco? I told you he was a fair person. All you have to do is work hard. Put the organization ahead of yourself. All pulled together. Quite right, Anderson. I like your spirit. Well, I try to. Get I, you know, I was afraid you'd feel differently about this. Me? <laughs> oh, I got that organization spirit. Oh, boss. that's fine. That's fine. Uh, then you'll cooperate with Rockwell. To the limit, boss. Oh, that's boss. fine. That's fine. Uh, you'll show Rockwell where everything is filed in your office, the open accounts and the prospect file, and show him everything he should know about your job. At the... All about my job? That's right. Huh? Oh, 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 I'm not letting you out, Anderson. You've been with us too long. Oh, gee, I was worried for a minute. Oh, nothing to worry about at all. Uh, you'll report to Palmer right after lunch and get a time card from him. We need a man with organization spirit in the shipping department. <laughs> Now, back to the Anderson family. Well, Oliver has taken a brother-in-law of Homer Meister's down to his shop. In order to get him a job, Rockwell, the brother-in-law, had to fill out an aptitude test. He knew absolutely none of the questions, and Oliver himself didn't know too many, but Junior sat in on the discussion, and his answers made a grade of 90 for Rockwell. To show how good a grade this was, the boss put Rockwell in Oliver's job, and put Oliver to work in the shipping department. Well, right now, Mary is calling at Tupps, Thompson, and Torrance's office to see Oliver about a dentist appointment. There's Pop's office over there, Mom. Let's go on in. No, dear, the lady will phone. Gee, Pop's a pretty important guy around here, Mom. Well, he's worked hard for it, darling. That's what I've always tried to tell you. You only get promotion through hard work. Yeah. Now, honest, Mom, I wouldn't want this to get back to Pop, but he didn't know half those questions on that test. Well, that's understandable. As you grow older, you forget many things you learned when you were young because you're busy learning new things. And that Rockwell. Mom, he's stupid. Junior, not so loud. That's no way to talk about a person. I'm sorry. Gee, I wonder what's keeping Pop. I'll find out. Just sit still. I'll be right back here. Tops Thompson and Torrance. Yes, Mr. Jones. 
Mm. Well, now, don't get tough with me, brother. I didn't order anything from you. Take it up with Thompson Direct, and he ain't talking to nobody this afternoon. Pardon me, is it all right for me to go in Mr. Anderson's office? I'm Mrs. Anderson. Mrs. Anderson? Mm -hmm. Gee, you're nice. Oh, thank you. Nothing like him at all. How do you stand him? Well, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm sorry. I'll go in if you don't mind. Of course not. Come on, Junior, we're going in. Okay, Mom. Oh, it's Rockwell. Oh, I'm kind of busy now. What you want? Busy? Uh, Well, uh, I'm Mrs. Anderson. Uh, You remember? uh, Then you'd be looking for Mr. Anderson. That's right. Well, I'll show you where he is. Where he is? Uh, Isn't this his office? Not no more, it ain't. It's mine now. Gee, Pop did better for you than he expected. I already thanked him. I'm polite, I am. Well, I... Well, you just follow me. You can see him. But his boss won't like it. Now, look, Anderson. I know how you feel about this, but I got a schedule to keep up, and that means hit the ball. All of us, drive that nail, pull that wire, do our best. That's the motto of the shipping room. And now come, come, settle down and just keep plugging. Oh, my back. Oh, brother, this is tough. Now you can talk while you're nailing. I can hear you. Yeah, but these blisters. In a couple of weeks, you'll be used to it. Now let's get on with that new stack there. Four nails to a board, eight boards to a box. Now set an example for the men around you. Uh, Yeah. Mary. What are you doing here? Hiya, Pop. Hi, Oliver, Junior. what is the meaning of this? Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you tonight. I can't talk now. Please, you... don't keep Mr. Anderson from his work. You see, Mary? You can talk to him as long as you want after working hours. It's a rule of the organization. Drive that nail. Pull that wire. Oh, Oliver, what's happened? Uh, you heard what the men said now, Anderson. Oh, hit that nail. Uh, pull that wire. Shut up, you Moron, and get out of my sight. Oh, gosh, he ain't got no humor at all. Oh, what happened, dear? Plenty. Junior answered so many of those questions right on that test that the boss gave Rockwell my job and put me down here. Oh, I'll not stand for it. You'll I'll go stand. right up and see Mr. Thompson. Oh, oh, no, 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 not that, Mary. I've been a fool. Now, let me take it. Gee, Mom, Pop's got two thumbs. So uh, where? Shut up. I have not got two thumbs. That's a blister, Junior. Oh, Oliver, this is what you get for trying to help people. You try to help him. I wanted no part of it. Maybe Mom and me ought to talk to Mr. Thompson, Pop. He likes me. Now, now, wait a minute. I'll do my own talking. Now, I'll see you at home. Now, go on. I don't want to lose this job, too. Well, well, Mary, how are you? Come in, come in. Sit down. Junior, too. My, my, how the boy is growing. Mr. Thompson. You've made a terrible mistake. I have? How, Mary? This Rockwell. Oh, yes, Rockwell. A good man, Mary. Mighty good. Highest test I've ever corrected. But I have to tell you... Oh, excuse me, Mary. Hello, Thompson speaking. Oh, yes. Hello, Bert. You're what? Oh, excellent. (laughs) You're bringing the 10,000 over from the bank. Wonderful. How I need that loan for this carload of washers. Uh, Thanks. 10,000. Wow, was that tough to get from that bank. Mary, no one knows what that 10,000 means to me right now. It's my life's blood. Now, about Oliver. Do we have to talk about him? Yes, we do. There's something you should know. Well, he's had 11 years to show me, and I haven't seen it yet. Haven't seen what? That necessary spark. Wasn't that what you were going to tell me? That he'd make good if given a chance? Well, I had no such intentions. I wanted to explain about that Uh, test. There's really nothing Uh, to explain, Mary. Good grief if one man gets uh, 62 in a test, and, and another man gets 90... Who would you hire if he wasn't your husband? That's beside the point. Oh, you know, Mary, I'm far too happy over that $10,000 the man is bringing. Uh, Bring it to me personally, mind you. (laughs) Well, I'm glad you've got the money, of Uh, course. Excuse me, Mary. Uh, Yes, Thompson speaking. Who? Now, wait a minute, Jones. I never told you I'd take that $10,000 worth of spikes. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, you're going to get tough about it, huh? You'll what? You'll punch who and whose nose. Okay, if that's the way you feel, come on over and try it. Man from the bank? No, it wasn't the man from the bank. Now hurry. Go on out and come back later. There's going to be fireworks, and I may have to clean up the office with this powder. You'll do it all right. Don't worry about it. Now, now, you get that straight, Rockwell. I'm leaving you in my office. The man comes in. He's going to make me take some nails I never ordered. 
Well, uh, I'm going out for a while. Now, if he doesn't get out, when you tell him, use your own judgment. Yeah. I don't care what you do to him. Get that? Yeah, gee, I sure like that. I know just what to do. Ah, uh, good. Yeah. Then you just use your own judgment. Now I'm leaving. Handle it any way you like. You wanted to talk to me, Anderson? Uh, yes, sir. Well, keep nailing. I can hear you. Now, um, what is it? Well, I have to see Mr. Thompson. It's against the rules of the organization, Anderson. I don't care if it is. I have to see him. Very well. You're new in the department. Now, how long do you think it'll take? Well, about ten minutes. Now, let's see. Uh, just 4.31. I'll deduct ten minutes off your time, mm. and you're to be back at 4.41. No later. And don't dilly-dally on the way. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate this very much. Tops, Thompson, and Torrance. No, no, I'm sorry. We don't handle that line at all. Look, Sadie, do something for me. Oh, you startled me, Mr. Anderson. Uh -huh. All that sawdust on your whiskers. Well, I'm sorry, but where I'm working, you can't help getting some on you. I don't think this new guy's gonna work up, Mr. Anderson. Huh? Honest? He don't know from nothing. Well. He's trying to talk Mr. Thompson into carrying a line of harnesses for horses. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, is uh, Thompson in his office? No, I'm sorry. He just sneaked out the back door. Probably his wife. Or some jam he's in again. Oh, oh, he's gone, huh? Yeah, but Rockwell's in his office. Uh, Rockwell? Taking over the boss's office? Oh, no, not that. He's just sitting in there is all. Oh, oh, well, that's different. Your wife said she'd be right back. Why don't you wait for her? I can't. I only have ten minutes, and I've got a lot to talk about. Oh, why don't you just go in and keep Rockwell company? Look, I don't want ever to hear that name again. Well, you brought him in, didn't you? Against my best judgment, yes. Oh, here you are, Oliver. Oh. I was just down in the shipping room. Mr. Palmer yeah, said Yeah, I know. He said I had ten minutes until 4.41. You didn't quit, did you, Pop? No, I'm waiting to see Mr. Thompson. Well, he's standing on the fire escape with his hands over his ears. On the fire escape? Yeah, and I spoke to him and he said, Shh, I don't want anyone to know I'm out here. Oh, hiding out so he doesn't have to see me, huh? Uh, pardon me, I have something for Mr. Thompson. He's waiting to see me. Uh, where's his office, little lady? Oh, right over there, the big one. But he's oh, out oh, right... Oh, thank you. I, I know he'll be glad to see me. Isn't that Mr. Trainer from the bank, Oliver? Yeah, he doesn't remember me, I guess. Hmm. I wonder what he wants with the boss. Uh, where's Thompson? Oh, now he don't want to see you about nothing. So you, you'll get on out. <laughs> oh, he'll see me all right. I have something for him. Uh, he don't want it, and he told you so. Now look here, my good man. Oh, I ain't a good man. I'm Rockwell. And I'm here to protect Mr. Thompson, and I can do it, too. Uh, he said I could do anything to you I wanted. Oh, yeah. come now. Surely you must be needling don't me. Don't... Ah, I, I ain't taking no needle, not me. Yes, uh, take your hands off me, you. Oh, 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 oh. I ain't taking no needle. No, I ain't. Rockwell, let that man up. No, 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 he, he ain't going to needle he me. He isn't trying to. He's a gentleman. That ain't what Thompson said. Oh, get off of so it. Out. That's what Thompson says behind my back. Oh. Very well, he'll hear me here, from this. Here. What's going on here? I, uh, oh, I'll ask your bouncer, Thompson. I've been assaulted. And you'll pay dearly for oh, this. It's all a mistake, Bert. Uh, as for you, Rocco, get out of here. Oh, well, gosh, I done what you told me. I told you no such thing. Well, now, now, clear out of here. Get out of my sight. You're fired. Yeah, but boss. And so are you. Huh? Oh, oh, come now. Anderson's been with you a long time, Thompson. It's not like you to be so nervous. Uh, my, my goodness, may, maybe our money isn't safe. Oh, uh, I'm all right, Bert. Just had a bad night is all. Uh, leave the money. I, I, I'll just make this all up to you. I, I'm so sorry I could just... Crawl, it's, it's humiliating. Well, it's a good thing that you're surrounded yourself with good men like Anderson. Uh, or we'd not take a risk on such an irritable person. Anderson? Uh, why, Anderson is part of us here, Bert. Well, couldn't get along without him. <laughs> right hand man. Then sign right here and, and I'll leave. The oh, money. thank you, Bert. Thank you. Thank you. And see that your reception committee is a little more gentle the next time you walk alone. Yes, sir. Anderson, I've been a fool, oh, another well, fool. No. Take your job back and forget this whole thing. I must have been out of my mind. Oh, well, it was an experiment. Oh, run on. Take the rest of the day off. Well. I believe there's still a half hour to go. Mm. Thank goodness everything's over. Gee, that's fine. There's something I have to say to Mr. Palmer in the shipping room. Good heavens, Oliver, what's going on? It's all over, Mary. I, I'm back in my old job. Gee, did you <laughs> have to beat him up to get it? I did no such thing. The boss is okay again, and from now on, things will be normal. He said so himself. Where's this Thompson Boyd? Oh, oh, well, he's in his office. Who's calling? He don't need no introduction to me, but... Well, hey, wait a minute. Gee, 
Gee, he was burned up, Pop. Oh, oh Oliver! Burned up, them. I'm off for the afternoon. Rockwell, go in and stop them. Uh, uh, no, no, no not me. I quit ten minutes ago. Oh, he ain't gonna needle me. <laughs> The Anderson Family is written by Howard Swart, directed by Herb Litton, and features Dick Lane as Oliver, Louise Arthur as Mary, Walter Tetley as Junior, and Herbert Rollinson as Homer. Others in the cast were Doug Young as Rockwell, Jacqueline DeWitt, Paul Theodore, Jenny Johnson, and George Peroni. Music by Gordon Kibbe, sound effects by Ray Erlenborn, and your announcer is Ken Peters. The Anderson Family is a Hollywood broadcaster's production, Transcribed from Hollywood.